Hello everyone, my name is Michaela. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona, and today we're talking about expressions. Um, but first let's address Bob's question about the last class. Bob, we had a class a question that said something that you're supposed to do that you don't enjoy, enjoy doing, and you said running. And I think, well for me it makes a lot of sense, because that's something that maybe you're supposed to be active and fit, but I don't really like to run, so explain, um, do you like to run or not? Uh, y uh, yes, I like to run. In fact, I, uh, I was wrong. Ah, I see. So then how do you, you like to run and you're also supposed to do it, but you find it hard because there's no time. Is that it? Uh, sorry. And, uh, what did you yes, What did you I, think I, the question was? Uh, um, what uh, you have to do, and uh, you can't do. And so I. Ah. I uh, yes, I uh, make. Uh, I made a mistake uh, on the on the. Uh, on the question, so okay, I, so I, I didn't I didn't understand the, the question. And what's something that you're supposed to do that you don't enjoy? Um, maybe I'll uh, I have to fix uh, uh, my my bed and I. Uh, I I I don't like to do that. It's uh, it's it's so. It's, it's a pain it, in the butt. You, I I for example I I have to fix some something and uh, I uh, I I want to do. Yeah, yeah. excellent yeah. answer then. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. So. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Let's get started with this class. We're having some people come in and out, actually. We're having a little class change, but let's say hi to Ahmed. How are you, Ahmed? Ahmed, are you there? Okay. Ahmed will come back to you, and if you're having any audio trouble, let me know in the chat box on the right of your screen. Amr Aid, welcome back. Are you a little more awake this class? Yes. Excellent. Ready for English? Yes, ready. Awesome. Um, Ahmed, you said you are having trouble with your audio, so I'm going to tell you to... Um, here, I'm going to screen share with you and show you what your options are. Okay. So you should be able to see my screen even though it's a terrible warp. Um, if you come to the top of your screen right here and you click on settings, you should get a page that allows you to choose which device you're using. So if you're using your computer microphone and your computer microphone doesn't work or your computer does not have a microphone, you can change it to another device. And if you're having any other trouble, um, you probably want to go to your control panel on your computer, but that's a little harder for me to tell. So try to change your settings and see if that helps anything. And if you're still having trouble, just let me know in the chat box and we'll try to help you out. All right. Um, Nacho, welcome to class. Hello, Maracala. How are you? A long time. Good. It's, uh, it's not coming to class. Yeah, it's, I feel like it's been so long since I've seen you. It's wonderful to see you again. Oh, thank you very much. And me too. I, I like your class a lot. But Excellent. I, I, if, Hello? Uh, your, 
my my timetable that didn't fit lately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. No problem. All right, Rocco, welcome back to class. Yes, hello. Unfortunately, before I had to leave the class, but now I'm ready for this complete hour. Wonderful. This one should be a very fun class. So you picked okay. a good one. Okay. Thanks. And Sergio, welcome to class. Hi, Mika. Good morning. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Are you uh, all the way up north now? Uh, I'm receiving. It looks like and a beautiful uh, sunny day there. Yeah, definitely it is. And uh, I will be tired, but I'm here. Because it, uh, here we don't uh, we don't have a sermon time, but I'm like. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, 7 a.m. for you, right? Yeah. 7 a.m. for me too, but here it's rainy. So no, 7 a.m. Here it's 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Yeah, because you are in a uh, summer time. Strange. Yep, it's yeah. summertime rain, and it's been rain uh, so far. It's rain. been a pain. <laughs> Really? Oh. Yeah, I mean, I usually love the rain, but uh, today, actually, I got stuck across town because last night I was at um, a function, like a little party, and it started to rain, and there wasn't a way to get back to my house, so I had to sleep somewhere else, and it was a big mess. But oh. it's over. Oh. Yeah, adventurous. I guess it's it's the price you pay for living in such a beautiful country. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and yeah, sometimes. Oh man. Sorry. But are you okay, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm totally fine. I just was sad because I had so many classes planned for today, and I had to cancel a couple of them because. I couldn't get back to my internet and my computer and my headphones and I wasn't prepared. <laughs> oh my. But I'm back, so no no oh. complaints. No pain again. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And Samir, welcome to class. Okay, thank you, Mika. Nice to be here. Hello, how are you? Huh? Hello. Okay. So I put the notes in the chat box for anyone who needs them. Today we're going to be going over some expressions. And I hope it's going to be really fun. You guys are going to have to be creative. Is anyone in here creative? No one. No one? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's... I know it's tough. You got to be brave. If everyone can be a little bit brave and be ready to be a little silly, it might be a silly class, but it'll be a fun class. Okay. So does everyone have the notes open? Uh, I have a question. Hmm? Is uh, uh, expressions like uh, gyms? Yes, expressions and idioms are the same, pretty much. An idiom is usually like a little more, um, it's a turn of phrase instead of an expression is really broad. Like an expression could be almost anything. Any phrase that you use frequently can be an expression. An idiom is usually like a metaphor or some kind of more complex or more complicated expression. But they're the same thing, basically. OK. OK. So let's get started. And if any of you guys have trouble loading this, just let me know in the chat box. Very first paragraph, we have a little information about the expressions we're going to be reading today. 
Ahmed, is your audio fixed? Yes. Uh, it's awesome. Fixed. Excellent. Welcome to class, Ahmed. How are you doing this morning? Uh, I am fine. How are you? Doing very well. Will you go ahead and read that first paragraph for us? Okay. Like uh, all language, English is sometimes uh, factual and easy to understand. However, it can also be used in creative and imaginative ways that are often difficult to translate and understand. Sometimes this creative uses of English or any language a cure in fixed on a changing expression. Thank you very much. Paragraph number two. Number eight, are you there? Yes. Okay, awesome. Are you you have to go get food for your family? <laughs> no, no. After the oh, class. Okay. Okay. All right. Well good. Then we have you for this class. Will you read the second paragraph? Okay. One very common <clears throat> One very common figurative expression in English is the formula as blank as as uh, a noun. Vari variations on this formula are often uh, heard in conversations. They are used only in, in, in informal writing. Here are some examples, comments on their on their meaning and uh, examples of how they might be used as blank as a noun. Awesome. Thank you very much. So we have a lot of expressions that follow this formula and similarly we have a lot of idioms that follow this formula making a comparison. So saying this is like that and that is like this. And some of them I think are very funny. Some of them are normal. So we're going to go over some of them today and I want you guys to start thinking now because I'm going to ask you guys to come up with a few yourself. It's a really easy formula to follow. All you have to say is uh, something that's similar, like one quality about two things that's the same. So start thinking about that as we read over some of these expressions. Very first expression, let's have Bob read. Uh -huh. Are you there, Bob? Yes, yes, sorry. Okay. Um, the first expression, uh, as big as a barn, very big, usually used in a negative way to describe a person who is very fat. Excellent. Uh, there's a little more there. It... Yeah, there's, there's one more sentence. Um, as cool as cucumber. Oh no, sorry. Um, something about she's gained a lot of weight lately. Did you read that part? Do you see that? No, sorry. It, it could be my fault. Maybe my audio cut out. I didn't hear you read it. But there's the second sentence that says, Blank has really gained a lot of weight recently, lately and she's as big as a barn. Not a very polite thing to say, but good enough. Okay, expression number two, Nacho, will you read? Yes, as cool as a cucumber. Um, very calm, especially in situations in which others would be very nervous. Most people were really nervous when they began their speeches, but Chuck wasn't. He was as cool as a cucumber. Thank you very much, Nacho. Who here is as cool as a cucumber? Yes, I, 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 I have read it before. Really? You are as yeah. cool as a cucumber? Uh, Sometimes. Not very often. Especially when I, like the, the example, I get very nervous when I have to, to speak uh, to a lot of people. But sometimes... Ah. In, in, in other situation, 
I can think that uh, I can be as cool as a cucumber. All right. Well, good for you. I am not as cool as a cucumber. I am the opposite of that. I am as nervous as a mouse. <laughs> as I nervous get very as a mouse. Yeah, I I just like start to shake. <laughs> it's a, it's a expression. It's a it's a expression, a similar expression as nervous as a mouse. It's similar, but I just made it up. So it's not something that's commonly used. That's why it's an expression and not a uh, idiom, because an idiom is something that we use. Um, it's like a historical use, something that's very common. This is just an expression because I made it up right now. I've never said it before. Mm -hmm. Alright. Okay. Can I ask yeah. a question? Okay. Sure. Uh, regarding to be a scholar, a scholar, does it mean that you are a cold person in your feelings or that you are very template? You're very calm. Template. Very, very tranquil. Mm -hmm. The opposite of nervous. Someone who's just very um, confident and they project their confidence. So they never look like they're nervous or they're unsure of themselves. They're just very calm and cool and collected. Okay, but it has nothing to do with feelings. With, uh, it might be a no, lot not. Not with like, um, not like cool versus warm in the sense of friendliness. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have anything to do with friendliness. Okay, thanks. Are you as cool as a cucumber, Rocco? No, no, no. I am as nervous as a mouse as well. Okay, <laughs> good. <laughs> I'm not alone. Rocco, would you do us a favor and read the next phrase for us? Yes, for sure. Okay. As clumsy as a bar in a china shop. Very clumsy. Totally without grace. Very uncoordinated. Describes someone who is so clumsy that he or she is likely to break things unintentionally. Don't use your best crystal when Elsie comes for dinner. She's as clumsy as a bar in a china shop. She would probably drop something and break it. <laughs> okay, this is me. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I'm a little clumsy, too. Yeah, um, I break many things unintentionally, yes. <laughs> is anyone else as clumsy as a bull in a china shop? No, no one? Oh, you're all so graceful. Yes. <laughs> all right, I guess me and Rocco are alone then. <laughs> we are the honest one. Yeah. Go <laughs> <laughs> True. Samir, will you read the next phrase for us? Don't lose. After that, the next phrase. As, as cunning as a fox. Cunning here means clever at deceiving or others. Yes, as a supervisor, is very pleased with the new player performance and says he is super. Super, super good work. Personally, I think the new club has lost the super team to the supervisor and isn't as clever as the supervisor team. I'd say the new club is as cunning as Fox. Thank you very much. Any questions on this one? Maybe about the word cunning? Does everyone know what the word cunning means exactly? No. no. Smart. Smart, yeah. Definitely is someone who's smart. What else is it? Mm. What's the difference between cunning and smart? 
of I I don't know, but um, maybe uh, is a is a, a mind uh, uh, very fast. That's true. Their mind works very quickly. Yeah. yeah. What else? I think the coming has a negative nuance. Yeah, it does. It's a little more negative. Why is it negative? Because it's like a very quick. He was yeah. Machiavellic. Can you say Machiavellic? He was what? Machiavellic. I don't know if that's what to okay. say. Okay, yeah, yeah, I can see that. Machiavellic. Sorry, there's bugs over here. Um, yeah, Machiavellic would work. It's a very, like, um, it's a very advanced vocab word. But yeah, he's like kind of tricky if he's cunning. The difference between cunning and smart is like someone who um, it uses brain in order to take advantage of a situation. So it's a little bit negative because it means Learn. someone who's yes. trying to get ahead maybe at any cost. Oh, okay, okay. You might not want to trust a person who's cunning. Not che cheating? Someone? Hmm? Like che cheating? Cheat? They could be. Yeah, yeah. It leads you to believe that they're, they're not only smart, they're intelligent, but they're also, um, they could be cheating, they could be tricking you. They, they're not necessarily a very nice person. Astute. Astute. Mm -hmm. Good synonym. Good synonym. Okay. Uh, Samir, did you, oh, you just read that one. Um, Sergio, will you read the next one for us? Yeah. Um, as crazy, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, as crazy as a loon, crazy, unpredictable, just praying irrational speech or behavior. Don't believe everything that Dr. Phelps tells you. He's brilliant, but he's also as crazy as a loon. Many of his ideas are just fantasies. Excellent. Any questions about this one? Like, what is a loon? What is a loon, yeah. Yes. Excellent question. It's not a very common word. Does anyone know what a loon is? No. Um, a loon, the, the form we usually use is loony. If someone's a little loony, has anyone heard that before? No. Fool. Foolish. Kind of like a foolish, yeah. Could be foolish. Someone who's like maybe a little bit crazy. Just a tad strange and... Um, has just very different views of the world. So someone who's eccentric, it's like a little bit crazy. Yeah. So if you're a little... Someone has, have, like, a hyperphobia from uh, something? Like what? Like, uh, he's afraid from uh, something too much? Could be, yeah, if you have a phobia. Like, um... Yeah, some, someone who's got like a psychological issue, maybe like they're really afraid of something very normal, um, I don't know, paint. You know, they just have like some, some small quality that's like strange, and they're psychologically a little weird. Yes. Is it a negative uh, It doesn't have to be negative. It many times can be negative, but you could also say it in a very affectionate way. The same that I would might use I might use crazy in an affectionate way. Like, oh, that Omar, he's crazy. But I don't really mean that he's insane and I think that he doesn't know what he's doing. Whoa. That's a lot of feedback. Okay, sorry. Um, so I could say it in an affectionate way. Like if I if I say, oh, 
Rocco is so loony. I could say it like in a very affectionate way, like, oh, she's so cute and eccentric. Um, but it also can be negative, like, oh, man, that person is totally crazy. Okay. Uh, we have, I think, one more on this page. And um, we're back to Ahmed. Yes. Read the next. Uh, uh, okay. As did as uh, door nail. Completely did. Completely did. Can be used for object object as well as form formally living things. There is uh, definitely something wrong with the phone. When I pick up the receiver, I hear nothing. There is no dial tone. Dial tone. It's as dead as door nail. Mm -hmm. Any questions about this one? Uh, what does door nail mean? A doornail is really literal. Like, if you use, um, you know how doors have hinges, and you might use a nail to attach the hinge, so the door attaches to the wall using nails. Yeah. That's a doornail. And the only reason that we use it is because it's something that's not alive. So oh, okay. this is a common phrase, but I could potentially say it's as dead as a book or it's as dead as a floor or something like that. We usually say as dead as a doornail. That's the more common expression. It's an idiom. But it just means something that's not alive. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Okay. So let's see. I'd like you guys to use one of these phrases to describe someone you know. So pick one of these phrases that you feel describes a friend or a family member, and then tell me exactly how or why. So if you say they're as crazy as a loon, tell me that they're as crazy as a loon because they feel this way or think that. So pick a phrase and tell me why you're using it. I'm going to start with Nacho. Well, OK. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you Do you need a little more time? Uh, yes. Uh, I'm thinking about someone. Uh, no problem. Take your time. Is anybody ready? Or should I give you guys a couple minutes to think? Uh, can, can I ask uh, uh, you uh, something? Uh, but uh, we, we we can use uh, uh, this formula uh, for uh, in in uh, in a, a ironical way. Uh, for example, I can say he's handsome as uh, a frog. Yes, exactly. That is an excellent way to use it, and it just makes it funnier, right? Because then, if you say he's as handsome as a frog, people definitely understand that you don't think he's handsome. In fact, in fact. Yeah, that's an awesome way to use it. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Any other questions, or is anyone ready with their description? Uh, Mika, uh, we can yeah. use this uh, in some in some, uh, some others uh, situations, not exa exactly uh, as the in this is shown us now. Is the the document is shown us, right? Um, well, the formula you can use to describe anything you want. So in a minute, we're going to make up our own, and we're going to talk a little uh, bit well, about how we might uh, use them. I can. Um, but yeah, like, the uh, one that oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, no. Okay. No, uh, I said I have. I have one. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, here in Brazil, it is uh, actually in in Paris. Uh, sometimes the, when they got someone uh, drink a lot and maybe sleep. Uh, uh, we can use this. Uh, like uh, where's for example, um, Sergio. Where is Sergio? Uh, 
uh, uh, and oh man, you know, uh, he's dead as a doornail because I drank a lot. Ah. <laughs> That's really funny. So it's the same expression in Portuguese? Yeah. Oh. Cadê Sérgio? Oh, wow. Morreu. You even use doornail. Yeah. Wow, that's funny. Cross linguistically, it works too. Excellent. All right. Okay. All right. I have uh, uh, one example. Go ahead, give it to us. Okay. In my uh, in my childhood, I was um, uh, I was as uh, crazy as uh, loon <laughs> from spiders. Ah, so. You were as crazy as a loon because of your fear of spiders. Yes. And what kind of things did you do when you saw a spider? How did you act? Uh, maybe I scream and uh, run away from uh, the place I found. I found it. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Hold <laughs> on. All right. But, Thank but you now, very but much. now I. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> So now you're not scared of them anymore? Yes, I um, I have one, uh, like, uh, beat. Oh, really? You have one as a pet? <laughs> one as a pet? Yes. Very cool. Uh, Very to, to, so, to solve this, um, this uh, phobia. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a good solution. You're very brave. Wow. And Nacho, you have one too, a pet spider? Yes. Uh, uh, no, wow. Not. Another example? You want? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, years ago, I had a boss that was as cunning as a fox. Mm. He always was trying to convince me to work harder uh, so that he could work less. Yeah. Excellent way to use as cunning as a fox. Kind of that, like, not so nice, right? Yeah. So now you don't work for him anymore? No. No. Excellent. No, no good to have a, fo a boss that's as cunning as a fox. No. It's not, it's not <laughs> the, best, the best fox that you can have. All right. Let's see. Bob, are you ready with yours? Uh... I don't know. He believes to be as smart as Einstein, but uh, he is uh, as a as a silly as a wall. As silly as a what? As a wall. As a wall. <laughs> wall. <laughs> All right. Very creative. Thank you. So, do you know anyone who's like that? Who thinks that they're really, really smart, but then they're not? Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, I don't know. Smart, uh, uh, smart like a wall in uh, definitely, <laughs> definitely. But it's very strange. A wall, I think, uh, it works. Isn't so smart. <laughs> very true. A wall is one of the less smart things in the world. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, Bob. Thank you very much, You're Bob. Amr Aid, would you like to try one? Describe a friend for us. I describe myself. When I was a baby, I was as big as a cow. As as big as a cow? <laughs> no, as as big as a barn. As big as a barn. You were a large yeah. kid. Yes, when I when I when I was a baby, uh, it's like uh, ah. six months. Uh, yes, I think <laughs> my mother when she didn't have much much. Uh, she didn't have uh, enough uh, more more time. She spent uh, eating eating me. <laughs> <laughs> so were you a little chubby? No, I was so big. <laughs> when, when I saw my picture, uh, big is healthy. She, she she was eating me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. It's good that you have pictures of that to remember it. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I didn't have a neck. No neck, uh, just like no, <laughs> yes. chubby head yeah. and chubby shoulders. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> That's so funny. 
excellent use of the expression. Rocco, can you describe someone for us using these expressions? Yes, but I have a doubt because it's the first well, it's the thing of person that we are going to compare. It's plural. The second item has to be in plural as well, or can you use just a singular? Could be singular. Singular, okay. So politicians are as cunning as a fox. They tell you what you want to hear, but they do what is interesting for them. Excellent, yeah, very true. Do you have any specific politicians in mind? Yes, all the Spanish politicians. <laughs> Nacho, am I right? Yes. Yeah. I think so. No, I, I, I hope that not all, but uh, a lot of them. Yeah, uh, most of them. Most of, most of them. Yeah, I feel the same way about most of the politicians here too. So. <laughs> it's a sad so it truth. Is, is it something all over the world? I think so. I mean, I I've never been a place that I haven't felt that way, I guess, but it's the nature of power and politicians and I guess it's just comes with the job. Yes. Okay. Unfortunate. Thank you very much, Rocco. Good one. Samir, would you like to try one for us, describing someone you know or know of? Uh, I don't know. Samir, are you there? Yeah, yeah I know. Uh, my friend is uh, as old as a cucumber when he. When he what? So your friend is as cool as a cucumber? When is he cool like a cucumber? During what situation? I think uh, uh, my, my son is as cool as a cucumber when he showed me his, his grades and he has a very bad grade. Ah, <laughs> I see. So he should be nervous, but it doesn't seem but, like he is. Yes, exactly. Ah, kids. How old is he? Thirteen. Yeah, that's that age. They're kind of sassy. They're kind of um, got a lot of attitude at around that age, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, right. I want to see when I was kids, but I don't know if it uh, is correct or not. I was uh, My family told me I was afraid from cat when I was kids. When, yeah, when I was a kid or when I was a child, yeah. that works well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, as did as did as the male when I see cat. When you do what? When I see cat, cat. When you see cat? A cat, a cat, yeah. So you are as dead as a doornail when you see cats? Yeah. So what happens to you when you see a cat? Yeah, uh, you I, like I, faint. I, I, no, I I run to I run I scare, I run to and the, the cat run to other way when I see. I cat. see. So then yeah. I would say maybe you're as crazy as a loon or something like that because if you say you're as dead as a doornail, it means like that you're similar to a dead thing, meaning like that you stop moving, you stop talking, and you're just closed. Yeah. So maybe you're as crazy as a loon, Samir. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, Samir. And Sergio, you're the last one. Give us your um, description of a friend or member, family member or something. Oh, let me see. Uh, there was a, um, a guy. Uh, he's not between us uh, anymore in, in the company. But uh, he always uh, uh, made uh, some comments. 
it makes sense uh, about the the real uh, um, subject, and uh, maybe he has a crazy as a loon <laughs> all the time. So was he a fun person to work with, or was it confusing? Yeah, is a is a a person we we were we work with, but uh, wow, he's all <laughs> always comfortable. Maybe not focus on the real subject. <laughs> That's funny. All right, we have a few more to go over. On the next page, but we have. But I have one question. Yeah, go ahead. What's your question? Yes, um, the last uh, part about um, uh, as cool as uh, co uh, cumber and uh, clumsy as bull in a china shop. Uh huh. Still uh, confused. Okay. Well, a bull in a china shop. It's it's funny because a bull is a really large animal and they're not very graceful necessarily. So if you put a bull inside a china shop. Does everyone know what China is? I mean, not as in the country, but in the other sense? Yes, kind of pottery. No. Pottery, yeah. It's this very delicate material, and it's very expensive and fancy and elegant, and it breaks really easily. It's something you usually eat off of at very nice meals, so you can have china plates, or um, china bowls. So if you put a bull in the middle of a china shop, the bull would break everything because the bull would be clumsy and not really well suited for that atmosphere. So someone who breaks everything and is very clumsy is as clumsy as a bull in a china shop. Yes. And the cool as a cucumber is confusing as well still. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. I mean, don't okay, be shy. Okay. So, um, can anyone try to give us another example of as cool as a cucumber? Maybe that'll help. But I can say uh, he is uh, as graceful as a bull in a in a sh in a shop in a glasses shop. He says, okay, so you're being kind of sarcastic, like he's as graceful as a bull in a glass shop. You you could say that. It would make sense still. It's um, Obviously, it's less common than saying in a china shop because that's the standard idiom that we use. But yes. you, it makes sense also to say in a glass shop or... Uh, because uh, uh, yes, this 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 kind of comparison uh, is uh, more common in 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 Italy uh, too, uh, but we use uh, uh, that way for a paradoxal uh, way. Ah, I see. So you usually use it to be sarcastic and not really be. Y yes, kind of because because if I if I saw he is uh, um, is uh, graceful, and the the next uh, the next uh, uh, word is uh, as a, a uh, as a, a um, I don't know a cat. Uh, I I think that the cat is a, a graceful. Uh, a graceful animal, mm -hmm. and so uh, he is. He is grace. He is graceful. Uh, is uh, it's true? Okay. Um, uh, in, it isn't. Uh, it isn't uh, um, so important the second word, because he is graceful. I don't mm -hmm. know. If I. I. I I, c I um, can uh, explain my... I think it makes sense. You're saying like 
it's a little simplistic to say that a bull is as clumsy or that someone is as clumsy as a bull in a china shop because it's really direct and straightforward. It's a little more complex and funny if you say that it's um, as graceful as a bull as a bull. So if you say it's as clumsy as a bull, that's real. But if you uh, say yes. it's as graceful as a bull, it's kind of funny. It's a joke and it's a little more clever. Uh, yeah. For yeah. this motive. You're totally right. I have Any one other? another example of a, a cool as a cucumber. Do you want yeah. One? Yeah, let's <coughs> give us one. You got one? Yes. I think a poker player uh, should be uh, sh should uh, pretend to be as cool as a cucumber. Excellent. And why? Because uh, he uh, he should uh, looks like to have a very good uh, play, very very good very good cards. Um, the other players think that he has uh, maybe he. He, he he doesn't have a, as as good play, as good card, but he he she should uh, looks like he has. Yeah, so it definitely gives you an advantage in the game if people don't know what you have. I'm not cool as a cucumber, so if I have good cards, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> let's play. And if I have bad cards, I'm like. <laughs> So everyone can tell what I have. I'm not cool as a cucumber. Someone who's cool as a cucumber is like you can't see their fear and you can't see all of the emotion. They're just like they're calm and you're they kind of have a mask. Like you can't tell what they're thinking, maybe. Yes. Good example. That was a perfect example. Do we have any other questions before we read a few more? No. Awesome. If you guys think of more questions, you're welcome to put them in the chat box. And in the meantime, we're on the next page. And I'm going to start with Sergio this time. Sergio, will you read the first one on the next page for us? Yep, sure. Oh. Uh, as drunk. Start here. Uh -huh. uh, as drunk as a chunk, as conk, very intoxicated, ex embarrassed himself as and everyone else at the party because he was drunk as a conk when he arrived. Thank you very much. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so for this set, let's read a few and then I'll come back for questions because I know that not all of them are totally clear. So I'll come back. But the, the next one, let's have Samir read. As easy as P, very easy by very easy, requiring little effort. Uh, a was the test difficult. B certainly not simple. It uh, was as easy as a pie. Thank you very much. Let's read one more before we talk about questions. Rocco, will you read the next one? Yes, thank you. As fit as a fiddle, very healthy. Very fit, in good physical condition. I know X was in the hospital for a long time, but there is nothing wrong with him now. He's as fit as a people. Thanks very much. So, do we have any questions on these three? Well, I have a, I have two questions. One is grammatical, and one is for vocabulary. Okay. Grammar, What's the difference between to be at hospital and to be in the hospital? Ah, very good question. I have addressed this before in preposition classes, but I don't think anyone here, has anyone here been in my preposition classes before? I don't think so. Maybe Amarade, I don't know. 
But anyways, um, the difference between at a hospital and in a hospital is a very minor difference. But to be in the hospital means you're probably sick. You're, there's something wrong with you. But if you're at the hospital, you might be visiting a relative. You might be just there by chance. Maybe the hospital is in your neighborhood. Or um, you're, it's, it's less specific. You're not saying why the person is there. But if you're in the hospital, it means you broke a leg or you have cancer, or there's something that is wrong with you, like you're sick, there's a problem, and you needed medical attention. Oh, okay, I thought it was the opposite. I was mistaken. Mmm, I see. Very confusing. Prepositions are tough ones. Mm -hmm. And the okay. other one is fun. Fun? What does a skunk mean? Does anyone know what a skunk is? I'll find a picture if we don't know. Maybe I'll find a picture animal. anyways. Huh? I think it's a hen animal. Uh, yeah, so a hangover like that, what, that's what happens after you're drunk, right? But what is a skunk? An animal who, ba who smells bad. Yep, it's an animal who smells very bad and probably isn't very coordinated. I'm going to do a screen share for you guys to see a skunk. These are skunks. Is, is everyone familiar with this animal? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So that's a skunk. And probably the reason that we say, you know, drunk is a skunk is because skunks smell. Yeah. <laughs> and drunk people sometimes smell. And also it rhymes. Drunk, skunk. Yes. Any other questions on those three? But uh, pie is uh, the, is uh, like food, okay? Yeah. Uh, apple yeah. pie. Mm -hmm. But as easy as pie, it depends, because I I I don't I I, I can't uh, do a pie, and so it isn't easy for me. Yeah, it's it's a a normal phrase. It's an idiom that's commonly used, even though it's not really true anymore. It's an idiom that came into popularity a long time ago when everybody would cook at their house and pies are really easy to make. Okay. It's just some dough and some fruit and some dough and that's it. So when it became popular, everyone knew how to make pies. But now, not so much. <laughs> Fact. It's not really it's a, very it's literal. As as it, it's as easy as eat a pie. I think yes. it's easier to eat yeah. than make Yeah, you a pie. can think of it that way. Does everyone here um, find eating pie pretty easy? No. No. Yeah. It's easy How, to eat. Yeah, for eating it's pretty easy. <laughs> Any other questions on those three? Uh meaning of fiddle. Good question. Does anyone know what a fiddle is? Maybe we'll do another Google Images. An instrument. Uh huh. Yeah. Play. What kind of instrument? Yes, it's called. And it's uh, there are some famous. What's the name of this famous fiddle? Stradivarius. Ah, uh, yeah. So fiddle is um another term for violin. And it's usually called fiddle in places that are more rural because violins are very fancy and very refined. A fiddle usually is just a very common type or a very um, low budget violin. They're basically the same thing though. Okay. All right. 
Uh, do you guys have any other questions on these idioms or any of the other idioms or anything else you want to ask right now before we head out of class? Uh, yes, please. Uh, the top of the of the document said that this we 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 must use only in informal writing. Yeah. So if you're writing an application, say for like a job, you probably don't want to say, "I am as smart as a." Box, or you know, or you could say, I don't know. There's a, there's a ton you could say, but it's a little bit informal. It's not necessarily inappropriate, but it's kind of like a joke or like a cute way of writing something. So it's not for business. It's not that it's like impolite or anything, but it's just a little less formal. So if you're writing an application or um, maybe in an interview or something. You probably wouldn't want to use these, but they're not necessarily bad. So you could if you wanted to. You, it might sound a little funny though. People might go, he's as crazy as a loon. He's using funny expressions in an interview. <laughs> okay. Any other questions? No. Okay. Then as always, you may message me on Facebook or ask me in verbally. I have one more class coming up, not this hour, but the hour after that, and it is a political discussion class. I'm really excited about it, and come if you have strong opinions and you want to talk and discuss about politics. Okay. Bye-bye, Michaela. Thanks, guys. Bye, Michaela. Thank you. Bye. 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 B